Sometimes when I'm alone and I'm by myself and I'm trying to zen, I'm trying to have a meeting with me, myself and I. Like for example, where does a calculator get its answers from? You just press buttons and suddenly the answers. I don't understand guys, do you? At what for Facebook, what for channel, Twitter, hashtag is why in the morning my name is Valentine or at color me Val and we are about to color you impressed because Charlie on set is about to blow your mind but we also do have a question on our socials. When you were small, okay maybe you're, you're still small, when you were younger, <laughs> I think I'm still small. When you were younger, what did you want to do and what happened? I was scared to talk about books. I was scared to talk about the doctor who killed me, but I was scared to talk about the doctor. Hashtag is why the body. So do let us know. We're about to have that conversation a bit. But strength of a woman first. Let me allow her to introduce herself now. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. I really like your outfit. Thank you. You just look nice. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Please introduce yourself to the people. Okay. My name is Esther Nema. I'm the founder of Dream Tribe Network Africa. I uh, recently won the top 35 under 35. Uh, on the category of entrepreneurship and so I'm very passionate <laughs> about entrepreneurship on my social media I just literally all I talk about is entrepreneurship yeah that just loosely translates yeah. to money yeah <laughs> we are going to talk all things money today and who wants money totally I know right <laughs> yeah and I'm what to shake every time we get maybe let's say promotion yeah. in life and we make more we still need more. What I happens? Know. What happens then? Actually, one of my supervisors told me, mm -hmm. like one of our GM, uh, one of the companies that I worked for, said that we should, our happiness should not be attached to things or experiences that if I get this, then I'm going to be happy. Mm -hmm. So you just find your kind of happiness, mm -hmm. but you also look for these things so that then uh, they, yeah they add to that because mm -hmm. apparently according to him money doesn't add to happiness but i'm like don't you just want to find that out for yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> don't you want to have money then you're unhappy then mm -hmm. you know then yeah, you come back yeah, and confess like yes yes ah, yeah can i have that job <laughs> I, I know hiring please give me money so that we can do an experiment exactly and see if money yeah is just give us so that we know whether uh, social experiment yeah i want to high five you right now yeah okay so just in i don't want to say nutshell because there's a lot to her uh, yeah. basically she was a tv host she's dabbled a bit in radio i've seen you are affiliated with TED Talks too. Mm -hmm. That is so impressive. Mm -hmm. Thank hey. you. <laughs> and, and the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. But mostly today we're going to highlight her as an entrepreneur and sana sana youth because that is where we are at mm -hmm. currently, if, mm -hmm. if not pushing it up. <laughs> we're both, some of us are about to get out, but <laughs> no, we're about to push, <laughs> we'll it. push it to 40. <laughs> No getting out. <laughs> Where am I going? You know, I was even told it goes to 65. So, hey, <laughs> guys, Biden is I 77. Know. So you I mean, he's a youth at heart. And we just voted him president. Exactly. You just be totally, there. Totally, yeah. Old yeah. By We're sticking to 21 <laughs> through, through and through. Tell me about yeah. why, first of all, you're very passionate about the youth. I'm very passionate because I think um, initially because. I think for b you and me both, because one, we are youth, and so we are going through a lot of the situation that young people do go mm -hmm. through. And so when you're living in that moment, of course, you should be passionate about it, right? Well, there are people who are passionate about children, women, men, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm also passionate about women, actually. But I feel young people have a lot of potential. We do have so much energy and so much ability, but we are stuck in this um, inability phase, mm -hmm. right? Because I was looking at the time when maybe the likes of Kina Kalonzo Musyoka were actually becoming leaders. Mm -hmm they were actually our age, they were 29, 30. Mm -hmm. Or when you hear of Tom Boyer, he was actually around, they started in their 20s, right? Mm -hmm. But the opposite is happening during our time where we are actually constantly feeling we are not as able, we, are, we, we have not reached. Like, it almost feels like we are being categorized in the category of um, 
inadequate like we really need so much support and yes we do because of course the environment and the times need that but beyond that we are actually so capable there's a lot of potential like the the massive potential that is within a young person and the energy like right now i'm this energetic mm -hmm. right the energy and the the thoughts and the great ideas can you imagine if we believed in ourselves enough to implement those ideas yeah so mm. On our socials, we're asking, yeah, what did you want to be when you when were I younger? Was, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be a lawyer, actually. And then what happened? I wanted to be a lawyer. Then, uh, what happened, actually? Mm -hmm. uh, grades. When you, when you get your grades back, mm -hmm. and uh, then you wanted to do, because I think then you needed to have an A mm. when you're going to do law. And and do an A in English and I don't know what combination and things like that. And so it I ended up opting for communication because then my combination mm -hmm. was perfect. But I, I still will do law. Mm -hmm. I will go for it. Yeah. You know how that thing you, that is in your mind and you're like, you know what, I, I, I still will go around and go about it. And then I didn't want to do parallel mm -hmm. in the evening because mm -hmm. I just wanted the full campus experience. Like I want to, <laughs> I wow. want to be in campus, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, so I opted for communication and I think communication chose me because then that's what I, I was doing already. I was writing. So it was a natural flow. Until today, I'm not sure whether I'm that passionate about arguing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think there's a way I would love to advocate for a lot of issues. Maybe young people, maybe women, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. All right. So again, there are a couple of comments on our Facebook page that is at White Five Four. Yeah. But there is at White Five Four channel on Twitter as well, and hashtag is Why in the Money. So we will let you know what they are saying in a little while. Okay. So now that communication has taken you to a place where mm -hmm. you can reach out, where you can give back to the society, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. have you taken charge of that? How have I? It's been easier for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I understand with my communication background, I I know how to communicate what I want, mm -hmm. what I need, and what I stand for. You know, and I think I I know how to use social media <laughs> in mm -hmm. a way that that a lot of other people may not use it for. Like personally, it's not just fun and games. I actually consider that platform to market. Mm -hmm me what i'm doing and what i'm about right mm -hmm. so it's not all just fun and games i'll have selfies i'll have days that i'm poking fun memes mm -hmm. i have like <laughs> mm -hmm. quite a number of them mm -hmm. but when you go to my social media page you will know what i stand for you'll know what i believe in mm -hmm. and so i think that's an advantage because then i studied public relations so then i it's it's almost a natural for me so it's given me a lot of advantage and i would personally believe that not that i'm doing more than a lot of other entrepreneurs but it's because i am out there sharing about it right mm -hmm. And so when you share about it, then you will look like you're the one who's really doing the most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet, yeah. Now come your umbea. Just Umbea do. pushes you, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it really Where can we does. find you? What, what are your handles so that they can be following? Okay, so you? on Twitter it's Nyavula Neema. Mm -hmm. uh, on Instagram it's Esther dot Neema, and on Facebook it's Esther Neema. Mm -hmm. And on on there's also a group called Dream Tribe Network Africa. So that's the network you can just join. Mm -hmm. It's free to join. Should you be wanting to start an innovation, a business, you can actually go and and join the the group here. Guys, up for free. Okay. <laughs> so I want yes. to read you something yeah. and then it will take us to the meat of the matter. Okay. I just read a story yeah. about teenagers and how they're opting for house parties. And the story that they've used yeah. as a case study is where a section of 44 minors were arrested at a house party in Mountain View Estate on yeah. Saturday. And we're being shown them being held at the Kabete police station. I know. And minors is under the age of 18. And they're I engaging know. in a lot of things. And please don't think that this is ending up in judgment because no, I know. And they are making so many faces. <laughs> if the heavens were to open, as <laughs> in my life, yeah. guys, and it, it, it humbles me. It yeah. is uh, humility must be instilled. Yeah. So I'm not trying to blame anyone. Yeah. I, I I understand that 
not having something to do is a very dangerous <laughs> thing. And I also With understand, COVID, yeah. yes, and I understand that parents are also going through their own things, just trying to keep food on the table. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a difficult time, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's be serious, okay? Yeah. So what is a solution for us? How do we turn these minds and, and now start thinking about entrepreneurship? Mm. How, now start thinking about making money, possibly even exactly. helping out, you yeah. know, with the breadwinner of the house. The mm -hmm, home. Mm -hmm. And I think, and you're right, like uh, what I just talked about, the potential that lies in a person, right? And now when you hear people like um, Mark Zuckerberg and when they discovered Facebook, was he like 17 and things like that, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> So it's just that, and I don't know whether it is our culture mm -hmm. that makes us feel really, really young throughout. Like, I don't know, even like as you see me, I still feel, you know, I'm youth and I'm, I'm up and about being youth. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if we teach responsibility at a, at a very young age, mm -hmm. we are capable of using that potential for the good. Because these kids are not bad children. They are not bad people. They are just having fun and they are having a good time. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times our directive as parents, as teachers, is to help people discover that you as one individual what can you be what like you're capable of being so powerful and being so amazing and that if you focus your energy in this direction who can you become because mm -hmm. i think a lot of times i'm like i'm out there like there's a time we were living uh my my room used to be upstairs and i'd, I'd be watching down and i'd just be seeing so many young people young people especially young men mm -hmm with potential with such great potential but because of lack of opportunities to work lack of employment they're just laying down you know um not having anything to do and i can imagine that type of frustration for a young man a young woman with all that energy. with all that yeah or someone has a degree and they can't find work and they actually have to be a house boy you, you can imagine what that person feels on the inside mm -hmm. because you've gone through such a process and you're not able to 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 release it but if let's say like us as media personalities or parents or teachers we actually constantly reminded people that you can you are like you're the working job mm -hmm. you know <laughs> like you can be fired today but you're the job you should not lose hope find yourself and rise up and i, I don't even blame the 844 system too much because having some business people come out of the system mm -hmm. they have right so it's just that self-belief i think that's what we are Lacking. We are talented, we are really good at what we do, we are educated, but just that belief in, I can do it, I mm -hmm. can do it, I don't need one million, I can do it. I am the business, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, but I think also, <laughs> like I said, w when you hustle, when, okay, I'm not, I don't really use the word hustle too much, mm -hmm. but like when you work for yourself, you develop a new courage, a new confidence to, mm -hmm. to be able to do it, and not that you should quit your job, like, what can you do beyond the space of what you're given? What can you do? How can you be a solution provider? And I think more young, more kids need to believe that they, they, they could be anything, anyone, mm -hmm. but to choose to compromise your future on just a moment, mm -hmm. I think that's where the, the challenge is. But I think as the people who've gone ahead, we should know better and literally guide, guide the kids to, 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 to paths, yeah. Because we should remember how it felt to be a minor. To be young, yeah. And to be confused. To, and we wanted to be like the adults. <laughs> exactly. Now we are trying to reverse the process. <laughs> I know. Guys. We're there sticking to 21. Uh, like, for five yeah. years, guys. Yeah. It's like <laughs> celebrating one birthday. <laughs> one birthday year. Yeah. Totally, totally. What totally. we're going to do is we are going to take a short break yeah. in a, just a minute so that we come back. And then as the name is going to bless us with wisdom. And wisdom. then we're going to talk about... <laughs> This peer pressure, yeah. because we found it here, please, and we'll yeah, probably we leave it here. So how can we divert that into positive energy? Because again, we have the difference between when we're older and when we're younger. When we're younger, our energy is out there, but our resources are a bit kidogo. <laughs> and when we're <laughs> older, we have resources, then we have no time. Yeah, then when you're older, now you have resources, but now your energy is a bit kidogo. Mm. So how do we find balance right now where we are at? How can we make money for ourselves? How can we stop side? Yeah, how can we stop that? <laughs> Hashtag yeah. is why in the morning don't go away. Thank you.